My name is Sarah Dean and I am a mom from Seattle, Washington. I have an eight-year-old son. Here's what I know about raising an eight-year-old white son. He was born in America as a white male. It doesn't get better than that in terms of opportunity. I as a mom feel a huge sense of responsibility as a white woman to make sure that he's in an education system that teaches him what has happened in our country over the course of hundreds of years. I'm a white woman in a middle class community. I don't feel only a sense of responsibility to my son. I feel a sense of responsibility to his black and brown friends. My name is Taylor and I'm an educator in Texas. There is a real misconception about what critical race theory is and how it's being taught in our schools. I think a lot of educators are being criticized with people thinking that we're teaching white privilege in kindergarten classrooms, and that's just not happening. I support critical race theory being taught to older students in high school. As students get older, a lot of the truths of how our nation was founded come to light in history classes. Then teachers can have developmentally appropriate conversations with these students. I think a lot of people think if we don't talk about racism that it'll just go away. Let's be honest, racism is deeply rooted in our nation's history and it needs to be discussed. Taylor, you believe our, our kids need to know the whole story. I, I do agree. We're raising global citizens here, okay? That's what we do as teachers and as educators. We prepare students for a diverse world. Is there a difference in, in your mind between teaching them history and putting a social vector with that history? And by that I mean some parents object to the fact of saying, okay, here's what happened, and then this is what that means for you now socially in terms of where your compass should point, what your conscience should tell you to do, how you should act, interact, and behave with your your classmates and students, particularly if they're of a different color? Teachers should teach the curriculum that's provided by their state, regardless of their personal beliefs, so that students can make their own decisions about those factors that you mentioned at the end of your question. What are your thoughts on this? So I really appreciate what Taylor said about raising global citizens. And so if I'm looking at this through the lens of how do I raise this child who's a global citizen, in a way that he can be conscientious of our history, then I have to look at how am I raising a child that can be a critical thinker? And when it comes down to critical race theory in school, we're looking at teaching our children how to be critical thinkers and how to interpret data and research and history in order to then take that into leadership across all organizations and across the globe. Yeah, because we're raising adults, not children. Exactly. Right. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.